Welcome to the channel. I'm Serge and in this video, I'll show you how to register an E57 point cloud file in Recap for use in Revit downstream. Once you have uploaded the space to the cloud, you have the opportunity to purchase some add-ons. This includes the E57 option. The E57 format is a compact and vendor neutral point cloud format. Once this is downloaded, it can be imported into Recap. And this kicks off step two. Before importing, ensure that you have enough disk space available. As a guide, the E57 used in this example has a file size of 21 gigs. But when imported into Recap, this translates into a required amount of 64 gigs for processing. So be sure to keep that in mind. Moving on from there, you'll need to set up a new project. Once that is done, you can simply drag and drop from your downloads folder into Recap. From there, Recap will redirect you to the scan settings. This relates to the range of the scanner or the camera that you used on site. Filtering can be dangerous. If you are starting out, I recommend leaving this alone. It relates to removing noise and weak points in the cloud. Furthermore, advanced users can use the decimation function to reduce the dot density of the cloud. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will skip this. Click Import Files to conclude this step. Registration has three options, skip, manual and auto. I'll start by looking at skip. This relies on how well the site was captured using the camera. If you are able to maintain strong and accurate links while on site, then you may have some success here. Before going on site, I do recommend that you review the Matterport website. It contains great tips and guides for securing a good result. I will also add a caveat that you should be running the latest Recap Pro updates for this to work. If you are ready to proceed, Recap will commence indexing, which can take some time, so I can't stress enough how important it is for you to be ready before proceeding. Once indexing has finished, the Launch Project button will appear as shown on screen, which will take you to the point cloud. If you are not successful here, that's okay. The latest version of Recap has an enhanced auto-registration function. Auto-registration becomes available once all files have started importing. Simply click the Register Scans button in the lower right-hand corner of the application to begin. But before going there, there's something important to unpack. Recap is a beast. It will push your computer's power to the limit. So to manage this, I highly recommend segmenting your project. This could mean separating the exterior from the interior. When working with a Matterport Pro 3 camera, you will receive the raw data in the form of an E57 file. Being that all the scan data is presented in a single file means that you need to use Recap for the segmentation. While on site, you should have created for yourself a scan map, something like this. This map simply marks the corresponding sweep numbers to its location on site. Use this to identify the segment groups. To segment, from the import screen, move up to the real view button on the top right. From here, you can use the real view images to locate the areas of the site in accordance to your segmentation groups. The goal here is to remove the sweeps from the set. Use the slider to scroll through the available sweeps and when you find a sweep that you would like to be removed, hover the cursor over it and click on the X. Once separation is complete, return to the import screen here. You won't be able to save as, so ensure that the file name provided at the start is reflective of what you do here. With that done, you can proceed with auto-registration. 
Recap will then automatically stitch similar scans together and organize these into groups. Scan groups can be used to merge sets of scans together. Auto registration is now complete and as shown in the image, you may be left with a bunch of unregistered scans. The goal now is to use the manual register function to match these to the automatically registered groups. And this is basically how that works. On the left are scans that were successfully registered through the automatic function and their respective group allocations can be sorted up here. On the right are the unregistered scans and these are ungrouped. Using these coloured circular markers you need to register common points in corresponding locations across the two visible scans. Before placing the coloured targets, there are a few things to take note of. Firstly, on the right pane, Recap will suggest matches and colour code these based on the cloud to cloud link strength. For example, right now, Recap is suggesting a match which returns yellow or a medium link strength. Hovering over this reveals how the point clouds of each image will combine if you accept the link. As shown, this is not great, so we should look for a better solution. The first thing to do when looking for a stronger link is to change to a different image on the left pane. The suggestion is now much stronger as represented by a smaller green circle. I can see the scans are aligned. At any point I can switch from the real view images to the point clouds by clicking up here. To revert back to the images, hit tab on the keyboard. Now that a suitable match has been found, there is no need to place the targets. I can simply hit the blue merge scan button on the right hand pane. That link is now refining or optimizing as shown by the green circle up here. And you can check the registration report. To enlarge this and extract detail, click on the sweep icon once. I now have the option to reject or approve. I'll hit approve. And notice that the sweep now transfers from the right to the left pane and is now part of group one. Now let's look at using the targets. For context, I am now in a different part of the point cloud model. Here, recap suggestion is weak. You can see the misalignment here, and I have no alternative scans to interchange with. So my last and only option is to use the colored targets. I start by rotating the images on both paints so that they face the same direction as much as possible. Use the scan map up here as a guide. Then I look for common points in corresponding locations across each of the paints. Now, this is never an easy process. It's quite precise and can take several tries. Placing a target is easy. Just point with the cursor and click the place. At any moment, you can remove a target by hovering over it once it has been placed and then hit the X that appears. Initially, my clusters are focused in on the same area, which doesn't help. Remember that this is a 360 degree photo. So use as much area as you can and pick surfaces on different planes. This will help with the alignment. Let me show you. So here, the selection is spread out and I have covered the XYZ planes. And now a recap gives me a solid link. I can verify the link by clicking the green refinement ring up here. 
The red on screen is the scan that I am trying to link and the colored represents the already registered group. As I click approve, the scan on the right now transfers over to the group on the left. Once you have a healthy number of scans in a group, you can view these together as a cloud. Click the 3D preview here. Then select which scans to include in your bundle. In this case, I'll select all of them. And there is my bundle cloud. Click the blue OK box to return back to the real view images. Furthermore on groups, you can access a registration report by clicking here. Other things you should know. Always check and verify all links because false positives are possible. For example here, Recap is saying that the link is strong, but the image shows that there is a drastic misalignment. To fix this, I simply replace my markers using the whole image. And now I get a more accurate return. Once all unregistered scans have been allocated into a group, you are then required to complete a group to group matching. This follows the same process, moving from the right pane to the left pane. You can switch groups by hovering the mouse cursor on the icon up here, and then select the group that you want to activate. In this instance, I have two groups remaining, one and four. My goal is to match group 4 to group 1, which contains the bulk of the scans. Now all scans have been registered, and I can access a full registration quality report by clicking here. Do a thorough check here and go back and fix errors to improve the quality of the final point cloud. Once you are ready to proceed, click on the Index Scans button in the bottom right hand corner. It's good to be mindful of when you start this process. And here is the final point cloud. At this point, you can export from here or save as. To learn how to optimize this point cloud for use in Revit, please refer to this video, of which the link can be found in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. If you did, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.